Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick uh, video about my Gecko 3 inch. I'm going to be using this in the rest of my, if I do make YouTube videos, this is probably what I'm using. Uh, the motors, let me, give me a second. Let me see. They're the Rotorac, they used to be the Brat Rotoracs 1407s, but I guess they something happened there. Uh, and now they're just Rotor X 1407 4140 KV motors. They're going to be hard to get. So the other motor that I would use, give me a second, are these. These are the Emacs RS 1306B 4000 KV motors. These are perfect for 4S 3 inch. Like they give you plenty of power on on a, my Gecko build. Uh, I was going like 100, I mean not 100. I was going uh, 160, no, no, I don't remember. It was 80 miles an hour, basically, on 4S. Um, with these, I haven't done a speed a speed run because the Tarsier knocks out the GPS, and that was back when I used the uh, Turtle. Uh, but yeah, probably go with these. They're lighter, too. Then in the ESC I'm using is the HGLRC FDA 35 amp. Um, it's a 20 by 20 32 bit ESC. It's good as far as I know. I've only used it in two builds though, so it's kind of a toss up right now. Then the flight controller is the Flywoo uh, 20 by 20 Goku. Uh, it comes with two gyros, but you can get. You should just get the uh, MPU 6000 gyro. It works great, and it doesn't need the huge box that it has on top. Uh, it's a great FC. Really check that out. I think it's like 35 bucks. It's a great deal. Then I've got the Tarsier V2, as you can tell. Um, yeah, that, this is the first build I have the V2 in. I have another one where I have the V1 with the V2 lens. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how, how they compare, I guess. Come on, focus on my hand. How can, okay, there we go. Well, yeah, the antenna is uh, one of the antennas off of the uh, DJI Air unit that you can buy a pair of them for 15 bucks. So they're really cheap. But as far as I know, or as far as I've tested, they work great. Uh, I just decapped it to lose a little bit of weight. Um, let's see. The, the BTX is the Unify 5 volt, like the really old one. It's lightest VTX that I know of that will go to 800 milliwatts so that's just double-sided taped and then kept on taped on the top my receiver is uh, the R9MM I might do something with redundancy later but we'll see how this works out and so that giant antenna sticking out of the top is for 915 megahertz wow it's actually in focus but uh, this is just an antenna I made it's a coil loaded antenna uh, check out IB Crazy's video on coil loaded antennas. That's as far as I know, that's the best video on them. Uh, it's just got six turns on the bottom and three turns on the top. Uh, but it really depends on what antenna tube you're using. The best way to, if you want to look into like building your ant own antennas, this is a really good. Not it's not a good meter, but it's what I use and it's nice for like learning about how antennas like react to being close to carbon and. All those sorts of things. Um, I'm using a Rubicon 35 volt 330 uh, microfarad capacitor, and uh, that's it. The weight, I think you might have seen that earlier. Give me a second. So, yeah, the weight is like 157. It's 157 grams. It's 157. <laughs> um, and then uh, the battery that I'm using is the RDQ 650 milliamp hour 4S battery. That's what I use all the time. You get about three minutes of decent flying, uh, decent acro flying, uh, and that's like 81 grams. And this quad is going to be exploring a hot uh, 6S high KB. So the battery I'm using for that is a 450 milliamp RDQ 80C, I think, or maybe it was 60C. But I built the pack on my own. If I if I make a video about it, I'll probably go on about it. But it's 84 grams and it's 450 milliamps, so it's like an exact comparison to to this 
other battery, this 450 4S. And the thing is that like they're so close that I think it'd be the best comparison for 6S versus 4S. Although the KV is staying the same, so I'm gonna have to use a motor a motor output limit. But yeah, the the thing about the 6S is that you gotta mount it like this. And just so everybody knows that it works, I guess. You gotta mount it backwards. Maybe on the next version that I make, I'll have it uh, so that the cable is long enough so I can do it the other way around. But that's how it looks. Oh, okay. So, all up weight. 6S, 3 inch HD, all up weight is 141. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, 141 grams. So, under 250 gram, 3 inch gecko. Um, oh, the last part is that I slightly heat treated the the cage so that it's not like completely silver that's probably not recommended um, but yeah that's my 3 inch gecko hope y'all enjoyed I also did a quick it was like a build log kinda of thing where I just kinda of paused and did stuff and then showed the before and after kinda of thing but yeah um, y'all have a good one